that was so a, a character that had never come to me. So I was couldn't I couldn't wait to do it. And this the crazier it got, the more excited I got. I honestly have to tell you, it was all there. I mean, there was a certain little things like Shabbat Shalom. That's that, w or little like, but not that was script. It was so beautifully choreographed, such beautifully choreographed dialogue, and so I don't need to do anything. <laughs> Thankfully, no, no. It was she was. I, I, oh God, that person should be, uh, you know, given medical care. Uh, I, no, I don't. I kind of just made her up. That was what was fun about it was because it was so outrageous, and so it was fun to just kind of, you know, create her. I wanted her to look, I wanted her to look not like myself as much as possible, but still be kind of sassy. Uh, so that's why I wanted the, the dark hair um, and the lingerie was very specific. It was very kind of, as opposed to being like Victoria's Secret, it was kind of old school, you know, and um, and the minute, it was, it was fun, and the wig was a little bit of a struggle. The studio did not want me to have a wig. They were terrified. And really, I had to, kept camera testing it and camera testing it, and they just did not want it. And they were like, she doesn't look like Jennifer Aniston. And I was like, yeah, that's, I'm not playing that person. I can't look like myself and say these words. It's like the more kind of, out there you can be and sincere and earnest it's sort of the better you know that was what was fun he's gonna be I feel he's like a like a little like a Dustin Hoffman uh, coming you know at our he's just so fabulous he's gonna really pop out of this I, I believe I met him at the up. table read. That was the first time I met him. That was the first time all the all of us were together as a cast because, except for Kevin wasn't there yet because he was working, I think. But yeah, that was the first time the whole cast, oh, one and only time we were all together because all of our storylines are so isolated. So it was fun. I mean, I thought it was great to see him like that because he doesn't usually do comedies. So that was really fun. Yeah. And of course, Kevin Spacey can do no wrong. That's just lightning in a bottle when stuff like that happens. You know, they're just, they're just fantastic together. I mean, it's like... They've been friends, do you, you believe it, for, for years. They're very, like I've said, they're our modern day stooges. I mean, man, what a bear of a, of a project to take on. And he's so, as you know, relaxed and laid back and awesome and fun and laughed, laughing. It's like he's just, a, big kid you know and yet he also knows exactly what he wants he's so specific and he trusts himself doesn't belabor things and he just kind of moves it's always evolving and chapters are happening you know I mean I love comedy I don't think it does anything any harm to anybody I mean and if you can I mean I also 
love drama, but I mean, I, I'm I'm always I always love co the comedy that is pl it's played real, you know. Um, or I like to play it as real as possible, even in, in sort of unreal circumstances, you know, like this. I think that's come over years, yeah, definitely. I don't think I knew at the beginning, beginning. I, I would say go back and look at some episodes of Malloy and you'll think otherwise. <laughs> yeah. When they first try to break into Colin Farrell's house, it's pretty hysterical. And when they drop the coke, and when they drop the, you know, and they're in the apartment, and, and I, they're just, there's, I just love watching them. I can't, I mean, when they're at the party, we're at, at, at uh, uh, Harkin's house, and the white, I just, it's endless. When the guy comes with the man, with the, who's, who, who, waterworks. And I think that kind of has opened a lot of doors for more, you know, raunchy. Because what's wrong with some balls out fun, you know? People like, grown ups can, are allowed to see that. So, and with a comedy like this, you have to kind of go there because there's no point in trying to play that, play it sort of safely horrible. You might as well be horrible. Maybe horrible teachers, but not horrible bosses. No, I mean I've had unpleasant bosses. Well, I like an un, like not consistent, you know, Un like consistently unpleasant. <laughs> Anybody, Me never. Yeah. Oh God, no. I'm too much of a people pleaser. <laughs> No, I really, no. I actually really love everybody that uh, works with me.